Hi there, handbaggers, and welcome to the Duck's Nest. This is the military mom, and in this video, I want to share several small unbaggings and unboxings. Um, I wanted to do each of these individually. However, my hatchlings are beginning to pile up, and they're becoming a nuisance at my feet. So I need to go ahead and share them with you so that I can put them away. And I may be playing with the lighting through the video because I'm not sure um, how these items are going to come across if they're going to wash out or whatever. So I'm going to start with this first item that I picked up from TJ Maxx and I went ahead and took the stuffing out so that we could get a quick look at it but it is this item this is a chunky plastic toiletries case or cosmetic case and I am calling this the beautiful people pouch because you will see that there is Naomi Campbell, who I've always thought was drop dead gorgeous. Here's Claudia Schiffer. Here is Daniel Craig. Um, I do believe, yep, there's Beyonce. I don't know if you can see her, but she's there. Here's Daniel Craig. And here's Daniel Craig. And uh, yeah, there's Daniel Craig. <laughs> so I may have bought this just so I could look at Daniel Craig, but um, actually I'm teasing. I bought, no I'm not. I bought this because I had this bag in mind. This is my Coach nylon tote. And let me tell you all, I love this bag. And when I say I love this bag, we use that term a lot. We love almost every bag, but I really do love this bag. If Coach had not done one thing to this bag and made it in different colors, I probably would own it in every color that they made it in, and it probably would be my go-to bag because I just love it. So let me just give you a quick tour. She is not a wide bag. She is a deep bag. She's nylon and she is covered in leather at her base, which is really going to increase her durability. Her strap drop is phenomenal, as well as her organization on both the outside and her interior. But here is where Coach, in my opinion, messed this bag up. Yeah, the black lining. This bag would be awesome, and I would literally reach for her every day if her lining was a different color. It just makes it hard to see um, what's in the bag, so I thought with the black and white that I could more easily identify the toiletries case there, and as you can see, it is visible, but I don't wanna have to do things like this. Honestly, if it hadn't been for the black interior on this bag, I probably wouldn't have even bought this cosmetic case because um, if it were lined in a different color, I would be able to see any cosmetic case that I threw in here. But she is a great bag. And I am loving her um, even with the black lining. The other bag that I thought of when I bought this that I could use was uh, my coach reversible tote in PVC uh, in metallic silver and here is her metallic silver interior that I thought would work well with the beautiful people pouch. Actually, I'm just gonna call it the Daniel Craig pouch. How about that? All right, so moving on. 
did I show you all? I can't remember if I showed you the price, but it was $5.99. And it's plastic. And I'm probably going to have to um, eventually worry about the corners cracking. But for now, she has some decent hardware. So I am going to enjoy the Daniel Craig pouch. My next item is from... Uh, I got this from eBay and it is this item which is the Dunienberg Carrington pouch and with the lily print and you will see that this is a cotton item with the beautiful Vaquetta piping the leather patch under the gold logo plate and the tassel. Let me turn this down to see if that comes in any better. I'm not sure. But look at, it's almost like a watercolor. And here is the interior one wall with the zip and um, credit card slots and the other wall with a slip with the Dooney leather logo patch in script and you know what, y'all? I am the first person to buy a pre-loved bag. I, I have, as you all know, I have many pre-loved bags in my collection. But I tend not to purchase bags with this raw Vaquetta trim pre-loved. Because, as we all know, this light trim will show water spots and... I tend to go NWT new with tags with items that have um, the Keta trim because I really do not want water spots on my Vaquetta. So I snagged this one um, new with tags. So here is my cotton uncoated. Carrington pouch and when I bought this pouch I thought of a couple of bags the first being my Belvedere orchid satchel not matchy matchy but complimentary and because of the colors here and here I thought of my key lime satchel. So that was the reasoning behind this purchase. The next item that I want to share with you all came from the Bay as well. This is an eBay purchase and this is a pre-loved item. It is not new. this cute little heart envelope or carrier and it is a leather metallic coach pouch and you all look at this this is so intriguing to me because first of all it's metallic it's leather and there is the outline of the coach C done in silver metallic and the coach is also in silver metallic and you'll see here they 1941 was begun but what really shows is the 41 and then the EST so some of the um, 
coach information is turned inside, which I thought was pretty interesting. And the fact that they put that on the corner there and you will see that texture on that metallic. And even though she is pre-loved, she was in very, very pleasing condition. Here's the interior, which is cotton, two slips, really pretty. I have nothing at all to match this. It just, I just thought it was a very interesting piece. Maybe, this bag, since it's metallic, I don't know. I didn't think of this bag. I didn't think of any bag, actually, because I don't have one. I don't think that matches. I'm wondering if I could get away with this with my Pebble Coach Rogue in the color olive. Interesting. I just thought of that. Or I probably would have bought my Rogue out. But, um, yeah. That's interesting. I'm going to have to check that out. So anyway, here's this item. And the next item is somewhat of a sentimental purchase. It also came from eBay and it was also pre-loved. The seller packaged it in really good condition. I have, of course, opened it, but it is this bag. This is the patent leather Willis satchel. And I purchased this bag for a couple of reasons. First of all, it reminded me of bags that my mother, my aunt, and all the ladies at church used to carry. So back before, you know, these designer bags that we're into now, um, I can remember the ladies carrying one basic bag it was a black patent leather bag and it was sort of in a triangular shape a very small satchel with about this length of a handle drop and it was a top closure that either where you lifted up the clasp or you turn the clasp and it had a kiss lock clasp and i just remember all the ladies carrying that same basic black patent leather satchel to church with their gloves. This was back when women wore gloves and stockings and slips to church. And they were all just elegantly but simply dressed. Um, and this bag reminded me of that silhouette. She has a very deep back slip which easily accommodates my phone. She has a simple turn lock closure. And I love this lining. I have always wanted a coach bag with this lining. She has a zip that is also lined in this multicolored stripe. She has two slips. Is that two slips or one? Actually, on this bag, it's one. And here's a coach story patch. And this is the Willis bag. And I love the way, because of this bar across the top, it allows the handle to swing easily there. And her hardware is gold. And her stitching doesn't pop, but it does have a draw. It doesn't jump out at you, but when you look at the stitching, you realize that it's well done. This is how it looks from the side with these O-rings and the buckle detail. 
So yeah, this bag was purchased because it just reminded me of the bags that my mom and the ladies at church, my aunts and everyone used to carry. And I've always wanted this little Willis satchel and the ladies would always carry their bags in the crook of their arms or either by the handles. So this is a somewhat of a sentimental purchase. And that leads me into the new designer that has hatched here at the Duck's Nest. And I am so excited to share this with you. This is, is this it? Yeah. I swear, I should own stock in TJ Maxx and eBay. But anyway, this is my first Kate Spade bag. And this is a nylon bag. It's a nylon satchel. It does have the rings for um, a shoulder strap attachment. There is no back pocket. She's a top handle, black nylon, quilted bag in the perfect size. And I have always wanted, a, she has a, a magnetic closure and I have always wanted a bag with this feature where the flap is also a pocket that goes all the way to the base of the bag. And I looked at a Dooney bag that had that feature. Um, I think you all may be familiar with, it was a bag, it was a, le a Florentine bag and it had two flat pockets, a really big, heavy bag. But this just was a better option for me. She has gold hardware. This pocket, unfortunately, is lined in black as is, um, her interior, which has a zippered compartment. And this is the bag that I was thinking of with the two slips. And the slips will um, accommodate my phone. I've got that ring going on. Hold on, Let me get that out of the way. And then it will close and I can of course carry her with the shoulder strap but I doubt that I will carry this bag with the shoulder strap I just love the quilting which added the visual interest the fact that she's a great size she's nylon so she's lightweight and I am very happy with my first Kate spade satchel and there is a tribe sister who has a wallet that would go with this I am probably going to end up looking for that wallet to match this bag so that I will have at least uh, Kate will have a sibling in the duck's nest and uh, won't be accommodating all Dooney and Burke or coach SLGs. So there you have it, handbaggers. That is either Safiana or rubber, but she is very lightweight. My first Kate Spade bag. Thank you all so much for dropping by the Duck's Nest. And I think that's all that I wanted to share with you. So I am going to bid you adieu, and as always, happy carrying.